now uh, is in the next county. But uh, until that leaves, you know, Mason County, we're going to continue to follow it. But again, this is the cell. It's just now on the I'd call it the south southwest side of Lansing. And we'll show you the storm track with uh, the motion here about 35 to 40 miles per hour. Delhi, I want you in your, your safe spot. Holt and, you know, the east side of Lansing and Hazlitt and, and Woodhull and eventually Perry. And that'll take us through the 220 and the, the 230 time frame. Um, and, and yeah, so again, it is it is not just Mason County, but it's Ingham County. So it's Ingham County 230 tornado warning. Uh, the eastern third, you see uh, what looks like essentially it's just a, a triangle here of Eaton County. That again until 2.30, but we think again, uh, certainly that cell will be out of there long before that. Um, will, what are you seeing right there? You got radar and, and the yeah. warning married together. Yeah, just uh, wanted to keep tabs on this. The rotation right now is essentially on the county line between Eaton and Ingham counties. Um, so it will be exiting Eaton County very quickly. Um, and it's going to cross over I-96. This is the rotation, right? So there's no, uh, I'm, I've been combing through some of the reports, there's no visual confirmation of a tornado on the ground, anything like that. Sometimes we do have those tornado warnings when we see the storms rotating. So this is like the precursor to a tornado. And that is the area that Jeff's highlighting right there. Those reds and greens together, just indicative of opposing motion. So rotation within this storm. And uh, just east of Kingsland, it looks like crossing uh, M99. It's now east of M99. We're now a few minutes later. And uh, that's still that area of rotation of interest. Um, farther east, by the way, or farther west rather, there's still that kind of line of storms that's rolling through. We don't see anything too menacing with that. This is really just that rotation that has our interest. And you right know what? Now. That is kind of merged with that front runner cell, the most severe cell. And it's kind of, I think, kind of muddied up the picture yeah, here a little bit. 100%. I, th I think the segment by itself, you would say, oh my gosh, I'm concerned about, you know, the potential for damage in wind gusts. Yeah. Now that those have kind of congealed, uh -huh. you're a little bit less concerned about that. Yeah, a lot of times when these fronts or these line of storms overtake a storm that's hanging out by itself out ahead of it, some of the dynamics for tornadoes and things like that can start to weaken. So that is kind of a good sign that that main line is catching up with this cell that's out ahead of it. Um, that being said, we still have the tornado warning. Nothing new to report from the National Weather Service or any of our uh, partners uh, through them. In the West Windsor area, Windsor itself, Packard, uh, the greater McLaren Lansing area, Lansing itself. We we still want you in your safe spot here. We still want you in your safe place because Lansing is, is still out ahead of this. Yeah, right. So it'll be interesting to see what they decide to do with the tornado warning as it gets closer to the to the capital district mm -hmm. and the capital city. And, uh, you know, I also look at will and I, I know you know this. I also look at if we see an uptick in lightning or a congregation of lightning in one area. To me, that's a symbol of the strongest part of the cell. Yeah, most definitely. And you're also seeing that uh, white coloration on the radar there that Jeff's showing. That is our radar depicting some hail, which in the warning they were issuing, uh, they did mention up to, I believe, ping pong ball size hail. Um, and so we are seeing possibly some small to medium size hail within this as well, which is like you were saying, Jeff, just like that lightning spike, kind of a sign of strengthening. Um, we are, I think, Personally, Jeff, I don't know about you. I think that rotation is entering into Ingham County and okay. it's exiting our viewing area of Eaton County. So we're probably good to send it back, but just keep this in mind. If you know anyone in the Lansing area out towards Holt, maybe shoot them a text, give them a call. Just make sure they're heeding this warning and get into that safe place just to be extra cautious. Yeah, and just to, to wrap it up here, you've got sort of half of it in uh, in Eaton County and the other half of the couplet now in, in Ingham County. And they're going to keep that warning going until 2.30. But I, I think we're probably safe to go ahead and send it back to uh, the bold and the beautiful. But look, yes. if anything else spikes up, we'll keep our eyes on it. We'll keep our eyes on the chat uh, and certainly continue to uh, to follow it for you. But let's go back to the, the bold and the beautiful. my fault no and mine how could you drug your own daughter it was an accident my mints got mixed up with lunas i had no idea she took them none of us did rj it was a huge huge misunderstanding